So greetings from a slightly snowy Pennsylvania here in Pine Grove Furnace State Park. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting the snow this morning. I'm, I'm over here, like I said, Pine Grove Furnace State Park here in Michaux State Forest, a little ways west of where I live. We had a few flurries yesterday in the morning. It was just a dusting of snow, but they've had obviously have quite a bit more here. I mean, not like inches and inches, but more than what we had back home. So, welcome to winter. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan for this video? Um, there is a trail here in Pine Grove Furnace State Park. Well, there's lots of trails, but there's one called the Copenhaver Trail. Here, you see some chainsaws in the background there. Um, and on this trail, there's supposed to be some, some ruins, potentially. I know someone just recently reminded me of this, one of my viewers, but I had been kind of been meaning to hike that trail in the past anyway, but I just never got to it. So when that person reminded me of what they, they mentioned it, and it kind of reminded me, like, yeah, I do want to do that sometime. So that's what we're doing today. It's called the Copenhaver Trail. And there's the ruins of like an old amusement park type thing back here. And we'll talk more about it as we get there what we might find. But first we have to find the trail. I parked here. This is the Fuller Lake day use area. And I think Fuller Lake is down there. But the trail can be a bit hard to find sometimes. If you don't know where to look. We're gonna head this way. I believe this is the Appalachian Trail. We were just here um, not too long ago on a hike with some friends. All right, so back behind the lake here is an open field area. The Appalachian Trail continues that way, but I believe, I believe up that way is the trail, or the trailhead for this Copenhaver Trail, is, if that's how you say it, Copenhaver, Copenhaver. I feel like I see a sign up there, but that's where we're gonna head. this snowy field. Yeah, here it is. We have found it. However you want to say that, <laughs> there is indeed a trail here. From what I've read, it's a, a lightly trafficked trail. I mean, it's going to be a beautiful hike out here in the snow. Our first snow hike of the year, of the season, I guess I should say. Nice bridge. It's a loop trail. So across the bridge, we can either go left or right, and it'll bring us back to the same spot. It's about a mile long. Man, this is beautiful today. Oh, we're not the first to go across the bridge. I'm not sure who's tracks. Looks like a dog. Dogish. There's no human tracks. So maybe it's a uh, maybe coyotes or something. Yeah. So at this point, we can go left or right, and it is a yellow blaze trail. So we fall in the yellow blazes. I think we'll go right initially. Man, this is really cool out here, though, with the snow. And the pine trees and hemlock trees. Even if we don't find any of these ruins, it's still worth coming back here. The snow might make it a little bit hard to find some things, but we'll see. Yeah, so what kind of ruins are we looking for exactly? Well, there used to, it's called Pine Grove Furnace State Park, so there's an old iron furnace up there. I've showed that to you before, and we'll be filming that again someday. Not today. Um, we might be filming another furnace nearby today. We'll see what happens, though. But yeah, so the, there's a furnace here owned by an iron company. And the Appalachian Trail, you just mentioned over there, follows what they call the Short Line Railroad for a bit. It's called a Short Line because it would just bring the railroad to the furnace area here to transport the pig iron out. And sometimes to make extra money, these iron companies would create little uh, amusement parks or like little, or just parks in general to entice people from town to come out this way. So here they left, because most of the woods in this area were cut down to make charcoal for the furnace, but they left this area stand and turned it into like a little park. 
There was there's a lake back there. They had a merry-go-round and pavilions. Um, a bowling alley was back here. All kinds of stuff. So people from town would come out here for the day. And if I remember my dates correctly, that opened up in about 1878. The amusement park type thing here, and it ran to about 1900. And in the 20s, I think what, from 1922 to 1967, the uh, the Girl Scouts used this place for one of their camps. You now they had built a a swimming pool back here too somewhere, which you might be able to find. I guess back when it was a park, I think about like you said like 20,000 people annually came here. Alright, well, let's keep our eyes open. Beautiful hike just in the snow, but let's look for some ruins too. So we'll keep our eyes open for some things. Sometimes the snow kind of obscures those kinds of remnants, but I'm not going to complain about it today. It's beautiful out here. I know like the swimming pool that the Girl Scouts made is supposed to be visible. Even remnants of that merry-go-round. It was a water-powered merry-go-round. That's kind of cool. All right, well, let's, uh, let's keep looking. I've seen trails go off other places, too. Hmm. Yeah, so the main trail heads down that way, but there's also a trail. So you know we have to take it just to see. You know, trails usually take you somewhere. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's just see if there's anything up here. Well, that trail just brought us up, brought us up to a another larger trail. Um, looks like there's multiple trail junctions up here. Trail goes up that way. Maybe not. I see. Oh, this. Oh, I see. There's like a little water tank up here. That's what this is. I see the gate up there. Alright, we're going to head back on that trail we came up. Alright, so we're back on the main uh, yellow blazed trail now. So, so, so the trail goes down that way too. Alright, that just goes down to the creek it looks like. Oh yeah, I feel like... I think it just takes it down to the creek. But we'll uh, we'll head up this way. And yes, side trails are distracting to me. But from years of exploring, I've learned that side trails. There's often a reason why there is a side trail. They take you to something. Not always, but sometimes they do. So just looking down, way down there, I feel like I see something. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see on the camera. Yeah, what is that? I'm not sure if we'll, our trail will take us down that way or not, but might have to check that out. All right, so probably as close as I'm going to get because I did have to get across the creek. Actually, two creeks join up right here, but let's see what this is. I don't know. So I'm not quite sure offhand, but we're gonna have to let it go for now. Yeah, so you could probably get to that from the old railroad bed. It, the old railroad bed in the Appalachian Trail just across the creek there. I don't know if you can see it. And it was just over that way a little bit. We'll have to mark that in our memory, but we're gonna keep on going. See if there's anything else we can find back here. Beautiful day regardless. Alright, so we're entering into a flatter area, terrain-wise. 
we were back, you know, kind of skirting the edge of this hill, which didn't seem very park-like, you know, place to have merry-go-rounds and stuff like that. But an area like this where it's all flat, maybe, maybe just maybe there's some remains back this way. This looks a lot more uh, park-like down here. It's beautiful. Large hemlock trees. Yeah. All right, so I think I see something interesting up there. I was kind of, I was just walking around a little bit, thinking to myself. That merry-go-round should be down here somewhere too because it was water powered so it makes sense that it was right near the creek and down through this little magical path i'm seeing like a pad of concrete up ahead yeah wow this has to be our well i mean what is this definitely Something was here. It's not round. Tree growing up in the middle. Not sure what this is. Okay, there's a foundation over there. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's the swimming pool over there. Wow, it's on the other side of the creek though. Oh man. Maybe, oh boy, let me think. Yeah, let me zoom in for you. I think you can see the, uh, that's the swimming pool. You can see the ladder, that arch ladder that will go down into the pool. Oh. Yeah, so I was under the impression that the swimming pool would be on this side of the creek, but it's over there. I'm not crossing that creek today but over there is where the railroad bed is in the Appalachian Trail so you could uh, I feel like I really want to check that out yeah, just across the way there there's the pool up there I believe the old railroad bed is back there you can see it so maybe when I'm done with this trail it, it won't be take too much to maybe come back this way a little bit on that side and check that out so once again, you can clearly see the pool over there. You just walk back to the concrete. Notice the sign here. What is that concrete next to the trail? When you enjoy the Copenhagen Trail, let me get back to you on this. All right, I'll zoom in for a little bit here. So you, if you want to pause the video and read that, if you can. I'll move on down to the bottom part. Yeah, so trying to interpret what they're saying about this pad. I guess there's sounds like they're suggesting that this was the pad for the dining hall, or what, and what was once maybe the dance floor. As I mentioned being right across from the pool. So yeah. Yeah, it talks about, uh, all, all the information I gave you at the beginning of the video talks about there too. All right, with, with a bit more extra information too. All right, let's keep on going. It looks like up here is just another concrete pad maybe another pavilion I want to see where that merry-go-round was though if it's off in that brush I'm not going to see it but Beautiful, absolutely beautiful day through here. Yeah, we're there across now. You can clearly see the old railroad bed. I 
banks of that's the Appalachian Trail too. All right, keeping our eyes open for anything else. So this whole area feels very park-like. So interestingly enough, I see a bridge up ahead that takes us to the other side of the creek to the uh, old rail, the rail bit over there. Some people parked up there, so I'm going to continue a little bit longer up on the, this Yellow Blaze Trail, the Copenhaver Trail, look for some more ruins. But I think instead of going, taking the trail all the way back to where we started, we might uh, come back to this point, go across and visit those pool ruins because I can get back to my parked, taking the old railroad bed too. Yep, yeah, here's that bridge. Takes you across. There's some people up here, though. Yes, that sounds like a plan. We'll hike up this way just a little bit more. I get the feeling we're past where most of the any ruins would be. Yeah, so instead of going, doing a loop on the whole Copenhaver Trail, and then hiking up the railroad bed, and then back, if I just, I could, you know, I can make the whole thing a little bit shorter for myself. I get a feeling this trail is soon going to go uphill again. It's at that point we'll turn back maybe. Oh, well, they would like to hike the whole yellow trail here, but... We'll see. If there's no more ruins up this way though, like I said, I think we'll just go back. Oops, I tripped on a rock. Go on just a little bit more, a little bit more, make sure we don't miss anything. I guess I get a feeling that the gist of the stuff was back that way. Yeah, it's so just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so I haven't turned around yet. Not sure when I will either. This is this is nice. All right, so here the trail meets up with another like an old road back here. Looks like it goes that way too. But I think I'm going to turn around at this point. I always kind of hate doing it because I wonder if just up that way is something I'm missing, you know, maybe just around the corner. But uh, I do want to check out that pool, so I'm going to tear myself away from going this way. All right, let's go back. So here's that bridge. Looks fairly new, actually. And head across. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful day. I keep saying it, but it is. You can park here if you want to hike this trail. You can just park here, too. It looks like there's a trail that goes off that way too. All right, but let's get to that pool. Get back this way. And here we meet up with the Appalachian Trail. It comes from that direction, following the old railroad bed, but here's where it turns off 
and heads up the mountain. Of course, we were just here a couple weeks ago with some friends. Hiked up that way to the pole steeple where we placed the, the, one of the mugs. We're gonna go back this way. Yeah, so down here somewhere is that pool then. Of course, this takes us back to where I parked too. And I do believe I see it over there in the woods. There's a sign up here. I want to see what the sign says. I feel like I know I walked past this sign when we were here last time. There's a trail that goes right back to it. I just totally walked past this. I was with friends, so I was probably chatting away with them. Oh, it's just park regulations. Yeah, here we go. Back to the old swimming pool. Huh. Yeah. It's all filled in now. I mean, there's trees growing in it. Here's a little sign. Girl Scout. Oh, it looks, shows what it looked like back in the day. Girl Scout Camp Swimming Pool, built until 1934. Yeah, it looks like some of the stuff that's in here is not uh, natural. It looks like a bunch of concrete. So it looks at some point they dumped stuff in here. And there's another trail going off back where we came. Yeah, because this looks very, uh, like piles of stuff in here. These dump, maybe for a safety feature, just so people don't fall in here. I forget how deep this was. Of course, on the other side of the creek is that concrete pad then. Which I guess it was the dance hall, the dining hall, where I could make out of that paper. And up here were the, uh, the steps that led down. Yeah, right there. Uh, snowy on here. Yeah, there they are, the, the old metal steps. Went down into the pool. Which is underwater in it. <laughs> No water there. Yes, yeah, so once again, there's the the old pool. I guess over here was the bridge that went across. There's some stone steps here. Yeah, here's. I guess the bridge went across here. Yeah, so there's the one concrete pad and then there's the other one we saw is over there you know, all the snow is falling out of the trees now that warms up today and over here is a hole in the ground probably for the pool all right let's get back to the trail up here and since we're going back this way, maybe I can find out what those other ruins were. We were earlier at the beginning. You know, I zoomed way in on them. I don't know if we can... We'll see. We, sh we should be able to access them from this old railroad bed trail, but we'll see. I'll keep my eyes open, because I don't remember... I'm not sure exactly where those are in relation to this trail, but... We'll uh, keep our eyes open for it. So I've come off the old rail bed, which is just actually just right there. I'm gonna hike along the creek. There's a trail here. I might have a better chance of coming across those other ruins if I just stay by the creek. At least that's the plan. I'm not sure how long this, how far this trail will go. Well, we are back in the park proper. I think I believe that it is a fuller lake out there. Yeah, not all that's fog. There's like a smoke 
smoke in the air. Not sure from what. So that will be the end of this video, I believe. Yeah, I never did find those other ruins. I was following that one trail by the creek for a little while, and then I had to get back on the rail trail. Kind of ended. Yeah, there was a lot of... It was very wet down there on that side of the, off the railroad bed, too. Although I see a little trail going off this way. Maybe the video isn't over just yet. I'm going to quick... Uh, oh, boy. Why does this always have to happen? I'm going to quick take a gander down this trail. Yeah, I was going to head up back that way to where it parked, but there is a... There's like a little side trail here, so let's just quick check it out. Maybe it doesn't go anywhere, but my curiosity has to be fulfilled. It just brings us to someone's little fort they made back here. Looks like the trail just dwindles to nothing over there. All right. Yeah, so now I will say farewell. I realize there's probably more out there than what I saw. I probably missed some things, but my first time looking for these. So if you know some things I missed, you can let me know in the comments. And I'll try to get back here again someday, but beautiful day. Didn't realize there's going to be this much snow out here, but we'll take it. All right. Thanks for coming along and I'll see you in the next one.